Chickadees, calling all chickadees. Wop, wop, wop. Hey, chickadees. How's it going? Oh my god, chickadees. Don't look. Don't look. If you could see my house number, don't look. If you look, you die. If you look, you die. I need someone to look. Who's going to look? I'll do it. Name that movie, Chickadees. Name that movie. Bird Box. <laughs> Sorry, Chickadees. I spoiled the answer. Um, I look dumb as fuck with these stupid glasses on. Bitch, let me slow the fuck down. Oh my god, I'm so hyped up. Hey, Chickadees. Oh my god. 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 It's motherfucking Friday. Bitches that keep thinking that we have a four-day weekend, but bitch, I need to motherfucking log on and work from home on Monday. Yes. Yes, I do. And then I have Tuesday off, so it's not technically a four-day weekend. No, it's not. Bitches still gotta work. Motherfucking, I did a paper. I wrote a paper at work today for fucking school. Do y'all know how long it's been since I wrote a paper? I haven't written a paper since like 2017, 2016, maybe 2018. Like, I have not written a paper in so freaking long, chickadees. And I turned that shit out. I love writing. Like, writing comes so easy to me. Like, the hardest part, honestly, is doing the... Th There's the introduction, and then you have your first, second, and third, like, body paragraphs, and then you have your conclusion. That third body paragraph is always the hardest fucking one to write. Because it's just like, you get so close to finishing, and you're just like, oh my fucking god. And it's like, I always... So, how, like, how I do mine is I write my introduction first, and then I do the first and then second body paragraph. And then I figure out what I'm going to say in the third body paragraph. But before I even start working on the third paragra body paragraph, I just write the conclusion, bitch. I write the fucking conclusion because, bitch, I'm already all over the shit. Yeah, I'm already over the shit. So then I have to go back and do the last body paragraph. And then that's the paragraph where you figure out if you're going to make your word count or not. You know what I'm saying? Because I had a 750 word count. So, bitch, that was easy as fuck. I got that in no shits at all. Honey. But it was just like, oh my god, like, I really turned that fuck out. Like, I think I did it, like, an hour or two. Like, I really did, like, bitch, boom. Got my APA cited bibliography, okay? Motherfuckers was required to have two um, references, bitch. You know how many I had? I had four. I had four. Because what? I am that bitch. I am that bitch. Like, I'm literally going to give you four. Like, you asked for two. I'm going to give you two more. I'm going to give you two more. So, anyways, um, I just, like, feel very productive and, like, upbeat. Like, I came home. I did long. You know what it is? You know what it is? My parents aren't home right now because my mom is in the hospital right now. She is having chest pain. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> She's fine. She's just a hypochondriac. She's overreacting. Plus, she's overweight and, like, probably, like, pre-diabetic. And she has blood pressure. You know, you know the drill. Like, y'all, like, she's fine. Like, I know she's fine. And she, they text me. She's fine. So, but that's really, like, why I'm so hyped up. Because, like, my parents are, like, just such, like, energy vampires. Like, they really do. Just, like, just, like, their presence just makes me, like, ugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like, I love them to death. But it's just, like, I really need my space. You know what I'm saying? also hyped up because I finally like sat down and like had a one-on-one -on -one session with myself at work like I tell you I was so I was so productive at work like I was working at work I was doing school work at work and I was working on myself at work bitch I got every fucking thing done today like baby this motherfucking new moon full moon shit is hitting it's creeping up close not new moon full moon bitch full moon on July 3rd yes it is full moon in Capricorn Capricorn great for grounding ourselves and for getting structure and discipline getting things moving let's write things down you have those dreams you have those aspirations you have things you need to get done bitch write it down write it in your calendar let's get the shit done let's get the shit done y'all let's get the motherfucking shit done oh my god it's raining and I didn't bring a raincoat I didn't even know it was gonna rain I didn't even know it was gonna rain it's raining man and I'm running a red light Wee. Okay, chickadees. So anyways, um, we're losing daylight, so I gotta talk fast, y'all. The meth head started texting me today. I literally, it was so funny because I was walking 
on my lunch break, right? And I like, I like loudly was like, no, why did he message me? And some lady was sitting in her car with like the window unrolled and like rolled down and she like, she started laughing and I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my God. And then like another thing, like I discovered, like I remember how this morning I was talking about like how like I need to learn how to like laugh more, right? Well, it turns out there's something called laughter, laughing yoga. There's laughing yoga and there are laughing teachers out there who teach you how to laugh. And then there's like acting like, <laughs> like I don't even know how to laugh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> like, oh my god! You guys probably think I'm on like speed or drugs or something. I'm not. Like, I just, I'm just so hyped up on life and love and liberty in the pursuit of happiness, bitch. I'm proud to be a motherfucking America. Fourth of July, bitch. I want some motherfucking hot dogs in my motherfucking holes, bitch. I want a hot dog here and I want a hot dog down here. Right? Oh, my gosh. But anyway, so the meth head started talking to me again. Oh, my God. This brain is crazy. Oh, my God. You guys probably can't even see me. But anyway, so the motherfucking meth head hit me up, right? And he was like, are you mad at me? Because he got a new phone. And he, like, totally, like, ghosted me. But it was like, I was just like really happy that he goes to me and my dumbass motherfucker responded to him I sent him like little angry face emojis <clears throat> but turns out he was in a motherfucking relationship y'all he got broken up with this past Monday literally like five days ago he got broken up with the beginning of the week and his birthday was on motherfucking Sunday and the dude baked him a cake from scratch right had this whole little birthday shenanigans party again with him and then on monday he texted him and was like i don't want to see you no more like i want to end this like blah 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 and i'm like damn you just got motherfucking played bitch like damn that was some poor timing but i feel bad because i told him i i like uh, y'all know me like i am just so upfront. i keep it fucking real i don't care like I don't care about the artist deduction right now. Like, bitch, I'm gonna keep it fucking real with these motherfuckers. And I told him, I was like, you know, like, it's your appearance. Like, you know, like, that's why I'm hesitant to meet up with you because of how you look and because of your past. But I'm trying not to judge your past. It's like, baby boy, I don't see myself realistically getting married to someone who has motherfucking flame tattoos on their face and their eyebrow pierced. I'm sorry, but you're looking at a future accountant right here. Like, I am on the track right now to become a motherfucking white-collar motherfucking accountant. Like, bitch, I'm going to be in fucking social situations where I'm going to have to bring my significant other to dinner parties, to birthday parties, to networking events. And it's just like... I can't bring him with me. Like, y'all really think that I can be able to bring him with me post druggy, right but then like I have to like ground myself and be like okay well no you don't have to bring your significant other like you can just go solo but then that's not fair to him you know what I'm saying and then I'm like I don't even like because like I'm honestly determined like at this point in this day and the age like this at this like moment like I am inspired I'm encouraged and I'm ready to get my degree in accounting I'm doing this bitches like my graduation I have planned it out it's gonna be the spring of 2026 is when I graduate so literally in three years I graduate with my bachelor's and I only have to pay ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars to get my entire bachelor's degree bitch because of working and going to school like that's just what's gonna happen and yeah like I'm like I said I'm just I'm ready to start this journey I'm ready to get this degree like and then once I graduate I'm gonna have like four years of work experience at the school that I work at and I'll be able to you know like find a new company and flourish and build my life and it's just like I cannot have a scrub I can't have a scrub I'm so sorry meth head like I feel so bad calling him meth head but it's just like now 
but like the only way like like if he like like I'm I'm I might meet up with him just to fucking like for the shits and giggles. The only reason why I don't really want to meet up with him, like realistically speaking, is just because I don't want him to get emotionally attached to me. And then be like, oh, you broke my heart. And it's like, no, baby boy, like, pump the brakes. Slow the fuck down. Like, don't get so excited. Like, chill the fuck out. Like, stop. Like, oh my god. Like, now I, now I'm starting to understand, like, how Austin felt with me. Like, it's just like, pump the brakes, baby boy. Like, I, I'm so grateful for Austin. Like, I just, like, I'm sorry, y'all. I keep talking about him. I'm probably going to keep talking about him probably for, like, the rest of my life. Because, like, he really was such a great learning experience. He was something, like, he was, like, an experiment almost. Like, he really was, like, just such a great, like, learning experience for me. And, like, just to be able to grow from that, I'm just very grateful for. And, like... Yeah, like, I just don't know what else to, like, say. But, like, it just, like... Like, it just, like... That situation just really taught me so much, like... That I didn't even know, like, about myself. Like, yeah. So, anyway, so... But, basically, like, I still love you, Austin. And, like, if you ever watch this... And I know, for a fact, you're probably never gonna watch this. But if you are watching this, just know I love you so much. And I want you to call me back. <gasps> Baby, call me back! Because I want to get back with you. And I want to get you to fall in love with me and then I'm gonna break your motherfucking heart just kidding so anyways so <laughs> see it's just like how do I laugh like I laugh like <laughs> like, <laughs> like it just sounds like a nervous laugh like, <laughs> like I don't even know how to laugh like that's so bad y'all like I need to learn how to laugh like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, stop! <laughs> oh my gosh, it stopped raining, y'all. So, anyways. Oh, baby. Baby. I'm gonna lose my motherfucking voice by the end of this video. Shit. Damn, I'm gonna need new front windshield wipers too. Damn, put a new windshield wiper on every fucking fucking wiper on this damn car. Shit. Fucking sick of this shit. Motherfucking cheap ass windshield wipers fucking going out every fucking year. I swear I get these damn things changed every fucking year. Shit. How long is motherfucking rubber supposed to last? Oh, these motherfuckers be breaking so easily because there's a motherfucking sap tree that be sitting in front of my fucking car where I park my motherfucking car at the house and the motherfucking sap drips on my motherfucking windshields and then when I motherfucking put my windshield wipers on and wipe it off, the sap probably is deteriorating the rubber on the motherfucking windshield wiper blades. Duh, bitch. Damn. Ugh. Ugh. I really want to go out. Like, I really want to go out. Like, I want some tequila in my body. I want to use my like, techniques. I want to be very seductive and like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you like that? Oh. <sighs> See, that's my laugh. That's my laugh. It's just like a very subtle, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just subtle. But is that cute? Like, I don't think, is that enough? Like, someone probably wants something more because like my laugh is like oh my god that's so funny like that's so funny but then like I was watching a video and the dude was like that's like what someone like Seinfeld apparently does and like it's really annoying and like cringe and like awkward like you can't do that like you can't be that person that just says like oh that's so funny like you have to actually laugh bitch I'm so hyper fixated right now on laughter like laughter like laughing Buddha duh like that's why motherfucking Buddha be sitting there fucking laughing he be all fat and happy and laughing bitch that's how we all should be fuck these skinny bitches bitch I want to be a motherfucking fat laughing booty 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 so anyways yeah like I don't know what else to do oh my god some dude hit me up on grinder right he has a robotic arm he doesn't have an arm it's like a fucking like little like amputee robot thing like isn't that crazy and he's a top too so like I wonder how he hits it from behind like is he gonna put his cold robot hand on me
Like, oh my god. Like, I can't. The creepy 50-year-old he hit me up yet again. Because I don't be going on motherfucking blinds uh, until I get home from work. Because I don't want to see that shit in the morning. Fuck that shit. Oh my god, and the motherfucking creepy-ass dude from Kent, he fucking hit me up. I'm like, shit, I shouldn't open up Pandora's box with him. Like, baby boy, you ain't got no chance. Shit, you was sexting underage people. That's gross. That's nasty. That's disgusting. You're a pedophile. Oh my god, y'all. I'm at the motherfucking grocery store. This was such a cute little video. Oh my god, Sam, he's a motherfucking cutie. Like, shit. I want to park my car and let him... Oh my god. Sam, y'all should see this fun ass motherfucker. He got a motherfucking... <gasps> and he's driving my dream car. I'm literally crying. This fine ass motherfucker. He's got a motherfucking dumpster truck, right? He's got a fucking... He's got the crossbody bag. He's got his hat on. Sam, he's driving a Volkswagen GT. I literally like my fucking dream car. I fucking love those cars. Damn, he was sexy. Like, shit. If I got here, like, five minutes earlier, I could have fucking dropped my motherfucking keys in front of him and been like, oops, did I drop those? Let me pick them up. And I could have fucking booty bumped him, mother, mother, booty in his crotch and been like, uh. Okay, y'all, bye.